Staying on the uh, uh, People's Climate March, interesting piece in uh, The Nation about um, basically what constitutes success for the People's March. And it basically is that the organizers want this to be the biggest climate march in the history of, well, in history, in the history of all of us. And that means that the organizers have to turn out no fewer than 100,000 people. That was the estimated size of the Copenhagen uh, March. I think it's going to happen. I, I, I think it's going to happen. And now maybe I, it is a function of my own uh, myopia, but there just seems to be an energy in the city and like I say, I go out, uh, I have friends who range from being very politically uh, attuned and not so attuned. And many people have told me and I, and that, they're, that they're planning on going or that they're aware of it. And, uh, and it is hopefully meant to be historic in terms of providing some type of turning point that uh, in this struggle to stop the slow and increasingly, I guess, faster devolution of or degrading of our, our climate. The march has been endorsed by the largest union in New York City, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, and by the two largest unions in the country, the SEIU, and the NEA. Uh, AFL-CIO not showing up. Uh, in part, uh, or at least uh, presumed, because of resistance from the building trades, United Mine Workers, and other unions that um, whose jobs are a function of the fossil fuel industry continuing at its uh, current pace. This is that element right there, I think, is one of the biggest nuts to crack. And what we need to see is a state, I believe, at one point, creating a dynamic where there are and, and maybe it happens in a place like West Virginia. Maybe it happens in a place where the unions are not so tied in to fossil fuels, where subsidies and training and large scale investment in renewable sources of energy step in to help and become a, an incentive for these unions to push for uh, for carbon pricing. I mean, that's basically what we need. We need to have some type of initiative that uh, actually gets these unions actively engaged in wanting to pursue those renew renewable sources of energy as a uh, replacement for uh, jobs that they will lose.